They say the truth hurts, the truth hurts So you bout to feel pain, and I gotta do her God said I gotta do her, cause it's off with the name Savage Truth, Savage Truth It's the Savage Truth, the Savage Truth how do, what's a good way to, to foster actual relationship building or discipleship? If you're talking about in a, in a church setting through the social media, um, um, that, you know, that, that people seem to expect a lot less, um, uh, authenticness in it. Yeah, and I, I understand what you're saying. I think one of the things is, and you kind of mentioned it a little bit, that the standard for relationship has declined significantly. Like what a standard is, like what a friend looks like, what a friend sounds like, what that interaction, right? Because we've renamed it. Like Facebook redefined friends for a generation. Like like you said, and a friend is someone who likes or dislikes a comment that I put, put out. Like someone who shares or doesn't share information that I put out, right? Somebody who... Who, 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 you know, who, who promotes my Patreon or my album for me or my YouTube video or whatever. Like we've got all of these, these vanity metrics that I think create that, that we don't just apply to like social media. We apply those to genuine relationships. So it makes it hard when you want like an authentic connection with people because we've become accustomed to and actually grown familiar and almost have a preference for inauthentic attention you know what i mean like so one of the things i think you have to be discerning and understanding do people want relationship or do they want attention because a lot of people put stuff on social media because they want attention right like and and, and to give you the 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 key thing that people put going through something right now fam pray you know what I mean pray for me no details go to sleep like why you even post that like Go what go somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you want attention. So you want a bunch of people. Like, what am I praying for you for? Other than that the Lord's will be done. Like, you don't want to share information, but you want people giving you attention because you're going through something, right? Like, that's that dopamine response in the addiction that we have, trying to, you know, trying to generate serotonin and dopamine, you know, all my our emotional hormone chemistry, because people are liking or commenting or responding to stuff that we put out there instead of genuine relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like when Casper's going through something, he might post it in a discord, but he also texts me because he has my phone number. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and I think that's where we have to, we have to make a decision and be very intentional about like, okay, God, like there's a lot of people whose attention I may have. And this, I mean, this applies to me, especially like I'm not on social media and I'm a YouTuber. Like, I like hundreds of people who are watching and listening to what I say for hundreds of hours at a time. And like, I don't really engage with that many people. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I don't really have a desire to just get more people's attention. Like if I say something that resonates with people, I give them a place to come have a conversation with me about it. Right. And then if we're talking about it and I can connect with you about it, that's cool. If you need more, you know what I mean? Just like in our direct messages, like I got you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to have genuine relationships. I just don't want to have people's attention. And I think that's where you have to, to make that, that, that deviation. And it really, it'll show when you try to connect with somebody on a deeper level, and then they'll kind of ghost you, right? Like when somebody got something dramatic going on in life, be like, Hey man, can I pray for you? Is this something I could do for you? Like, how can I help you? You know what I mean? Like I had somebody that had, that had reached out and just reached out on Facebook because I have Facebook messenger and they had just like, man, I'm going through a lot right now. And like, they don't live in the same state as me. But the funny thing was the next day I was getting on a plane and flying to where they were going. So I was like, I guess Jesus want me to come talk to you about this in person. I'm like, look, I'll be there. I'll be in your city for the next three days. Tell me where you want to meet. You know what I mean? Like if you ain't got no transportation, I'll come pick you up. You know what I mean? Let's, let's have dinner. Let's sit down. Let's, oh, well, well, I don't know. I think I got an appointment. And it's so I'm like, you you were willing to hit me on Messenger and to, and to lay out your soul through a social media app. And I'm literally about to fly across the country and I'm willing to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you. And then you ghost me. 
Like when I touched down, like I land, I landed in the evening. It was like, what's up? Like you, 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 can I come scoop you? No response. So then that lets me know you just wanted attention. You wanted somebody to be like, oh man, like that sucks. But like, I'm not that kind of person. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go get attention from a bunch of people. That's not my desire. My desire is discipleship. Is relationship is that genuine engagement. And I think when you, when God leads you, right, or you have those opportunities, you just try to step past that, right? Like try to have a conversation. Like I want to talk to you on the phone so I can pray for you. Like if, if you don't want to progress past this superficial, cause like social media is a tool, right? But it's a superficial tool, right? So, you know what I mean? Like if we're not going to go past that, like I'll send you a video, like let's get on telegram, like whatever it is, but like, let's have a real engagement. Um, because that's what I have a desire to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going I'm not going to come on your page every day to see how sad or happy you are so I can make a comment to make you feel better or not make you feel better. I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Like people get mad at me cuz I don't know they getting married. Like I'm not on social media. If we really that close, you would have told me you were getting married. Like I would have known that. Like, you know what I mean? Like I didn't know your mama, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't know your mom was in the hospital. I didn't know your brother was sick. Like I'm not on social media and if I was, I have thousands of friends. So like even like, like, do I have to click on you specifically every day? Like if there's something you want me to know about you, then let me know, not the world, right? Like everybody's talking to the world. You know what I mean? It's like if I'm standing out in public and saying I'm thirsty, but then I'm mad nobody brought me water. Like, who are you talking to? And that's what we got used to. We get used to talking into the air, but then somebody responding, you know what I mean? So it's like, even like that's, you know what I mean? Like we, it's, it's perverted the way that we pray. You know what I mean? Like, like, no, like you gotta be intentional if you want to, and same thing, you gotta be intentional with a relationship with God. You're not just throwing something into the cloud for a genie to respond to. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that should be genuine. So I think that's what you got to differentiate between, right? Like people who are on social media cause they want attention. Then, uh, okay. Like pray for them. <laughs> And then it's people who really want mentorship, who want discipleship, who want connectivity and their actions exemplify it. You know what I mean? Like I have people that'd be like, oh man, like, you know what I mean? I want, we want y'all to counsel us and, and we, you know what I mean? We want to do this, that, and the third and be like one or two conversations and they slide on out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't mind that. Like there's 60 some people in the Patreon and this call is normally eight to 10 people. So I'm like, I don't know what the other 50 people in Patreon are doing. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, you must be getting a lot from the YouTube video. But you know what? Some people don't want this level of engagement. Some people don't want to sit in a, in a room full of people and we family. We all Christians. We love Jesus. But they don't want to be that transparent. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and that's just what, even though the um, the people that I have that are in like my higher tiers, like they, they reach out to me and be like, hey, can you put that clip of our conversation on YouTube, because I think somebody will help that. Because other than that, I don't post them. Like, I'm like, I'm not posting that. That's your conversation. You pay for it. Um, but they'll be like, nah, can you? And they'll like, um, matter of fact, Tyler, he went through. He gave me timestamps. He was like, hey, what you said at 240? He was like, you got to put that out there, what you said right here. Because um, I give them those videos on like a cloud drive. I don't even put those unlisted on YouTube. But they want that information. And again, that's that engagement um, is real. And I think that's where we got to differentiate. You know what I'm saying? Like it's too many people get satisfied um, and are fulfilled when somebody gives them attention for their drama or their situation versus being in genuine relationship with people who are one, going to hold you accountable to what you're supposed to be doing and what you claim you believe. You know what I'm saying? And people who are going to be motivating and encouraging you to be what God called you to be, not just, you know what I'm saying? Accepting the invitation to your pity party. So um, and that's, and that's, and I think that's the main thing, man. So use it as a tool, right? Like use it to you, just like we talk about diagnosis, use it as a source of information. But when you try to go past that superficial level and be like, like, Hey man, I've seen a lot of stuff on your page. Like, you know, do you need somebody to talk to? And if they don't say they need somebody to talk to, then move on. Cause there's somebody that's putting information out there that genuinely wants somebody to respond to it. So like find that person and pour into them. Um, but it's it's kind of hard to tell because if there's so many people vying for attention, it's hard to determine who's who's being genuine.
They keep asking who I am, I just tell them I'm a Christian Occupation, a description, I just tell them I'm a Christian Nationality, ethnicity, I tell them I'm a Christian Keep the hyphens and divisions